Hello all, my name is Krish Naik and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, I'm going to show you some of the best extensions that I usually use in VS Code for doing my data science project development. Now remember guys, VS Code is an amazing IDE. You can also use it for other programming languages like Java, PHP, C++, JavaScript and many more, right? So all you have to do is that try to install that specific kind of extension related to that specific programming language and you will be able to implement it. In this particular video, I'll just be focusing on Python. I'll be naming somewhere around six to seven extension. The last one is pretty much amazing. So please make sure that you watch this video till the end. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, because trust me guys, it will actually help me to motivate more and more videos like this. So first of all, let's begin with the first extension. The first extension that I'm actually going to discuss about as soon as you install VS code is the Python extension if you really want to uh, run any Python programming language this is the first extension that you have to run and remember guys this extension is basically from Microsoft it has a lot of functionalities even it it can actually help you to do debugging it can actually help you to even run Jupyter notebook uh, files very much easily I'll just uh, tell you what all list of functionalities it has given um, it will actually help you to suggest. Uh, so as soon as uh, you install this VS code, it will also suggest you to install this specific library, uh, specific extension for Python programming language. Over here, you can also implement some of the unit test, PyTest, and some of the Nose test frameworks. Different, different test frameworks are there, which you can definitely use. So this is the first extension that you should definitely use. And here you can see that I have already installed this extension. So I can definitely run any kind of code over here by writing A is equal to five, suppose I'm just writing like this b is equal to 6 and print a plus b this is just a simple code guys and if i want to execute it just go and click write python uh, run python in terminal and here you'll be able to get your output right so everything uh, is basically possible because of this particular extension now the second extension that i'm actually going to discuss about is uh, you can go and basically search for kite so kite autocomplete extension this is also an amazing extension and this can actually work with multiple programming language like python python java go php c c sharp and c++ remember guys uh, why kite is basically used for auto completion you know right now i know uh, everybody when i talk about auto completion you will be knowing different different kind of extension kite is one of them definitely you can use it I myself have personally tried Kite in Spider ID along with that in Visual Studio Code also. Uh, it it works pretty much amazing way well. You know, it will actually help you to write the code very much quickly because of the uh, autocomplete uh, feature that it actually has. Okay, so this is probably the second one that is Kite autocomplete AI code. Uh, over here in the link also in the description of this particular video also I've given you the kite link you can go again just click on that particular link or install it or you can just go and search in this particular extension and install this particular ID now coming to the third one which is pretty much interesting and this is called as Python preview right so Python preview is also very very much good uh, if you want to know about Python preview, this extension is used to preview the Python code in VS, edit, VS Code Editor. It is very simple and uh, it is actually it actually helps your debugging process very much easy. Let me just show you one of the use of this. Suppose uh, let me create some list over here. So suppose I'm defining list as uh, 12, 4, 5, 6, some, some values. Okay. And uh, probably I'll just say I'll also define a function. Okay. Some of a comma b and i'm just going to return a plus b okay so these are some of the code that i have actually written now if i go and right click on this first of all what you have to do with respect to this particular uh, extension that is python preview you have to install it uh, it actually provides a lot of debugging facilities without running the code that is the best thing about it now if i go and write uh, right click on the stretch.py and open the preview to the side so here you will be able to see everything you'll be able to track uh, without executing the code, you'll be able to track how the execution may be going on, right? See, if I go on first, so this is the first thing. If I go to the next step, right? So suppose if I go forward, suppose this code is executed, then what will happen? It will basically create the global frame with some amazing diagrams. You'll be able to see everything, all the values like 12, 4, 5, 6, because this is a list, right? And it is a global variable. So it is basically showing as a global variable. Now, suppose if I update the code and probably write print, right print uh, print sum 
10 comma 12 now you can see that without executing the code i can see the output also what it is actually coming you know after this particular line of code this is getting executed if i probably define a main function if i probably go with respect to object oriented features if i try to clear, create classes uh, you know all those particular objects how it is getting created you can definitely see in an amazing way with the help of some kind, kind of diagram so definitely use this python preview again why i'm talking about this guys because it will give you an amazing experience and that is how you will actually get motivated with respect to different kind of programming language so definitely try it out and with respect to this you can go forward and backward based on the execution you can also go forward you can also go to the last so you can do different different things so definitely try out um python preview which is again an amazing extension for you all coming to the next one which is called as uh Arapel. so i hope i'm pronouncing it right so this is the other one that is Arapel. it actually evaluates python code in real time as you type now this is a very amazing thing see over here you are just writing the code even though without executing with respect to the real time you will be able to see the output over here you'll be able to see different different things now let me just try it out okay so suppose i say <clears throat> i am just going to do some kind of operation 5 plus 5 suppose and probably i'll just say print uh, hello world okay or let me just remove right now right now i don't require it now if i want to execute it just go and right click over here uh, you will be seeing eval python in real time okay um fine now you can see over here see i'll just write print print uh hello see i have not executed but i can definitely see on the right hand side probably if i create some values like this one two three four five six so here you can see all the list is being getting created Suppose if I write print or I'll just say a is equal to 10. Okay, the value, the let's let's do some kind of concatenation operation. See, this will be very much amazing. Okay. Suppose if I wrote concatenation of a. Now here automatically it is giving us an error. This is the error that you may be getting, you know. You have not executed the code. So in order to fix this, if I click on this and if I go and see over here you will also be able to get the kind of error and you can go ahead and solve this particular error itself. So it will automatically redirect you with the link, with the help of solutions and all, right? So that also you can actually do. Suppose if I want to fix this, I can also write str of a. So now in the real time it is fixed and you can see the output now, right? So everything is basically given. So this Arapel is also very much good, guys. It provides you code evaluation in the real time. As you type, you can definitely see how your code is actually behaving. So Arapel is my next amazing extension that you should definitely use uh, for this particular purpose. And again, it is up to you. See, it is basically increasing your productivity. Why not use it? And all these extensions are completely for free. Nothing, nothing is coming for you. I also want to talk about this Python extension pack. Now in this particular extension pack, um, I would suggest try to install this also because it includes everything. There is also a Python indentation uh, for Python comment. There is also one uh, amazing uh, uh, extension that is called as Python doc string. Now this Python doc string is, they, it actually automatically generates detailed doc string for Python function. Now suppose if I write something like this definition sum of a comma b right and here suppose i say return a plus b okay so a simple function a plus b right now here if i really want to generate a doc stringer uh, i mean for this specific thing python doc string generator it's just like providing the detailed information regarding this particular function i'll just use triple quotes and generate the doc string that's it see this now I've got all the values over here. I can just specify over here type. In this summary, what I can do is that I can just write a function that, so I can write that this is a function to add two numbers, right? So done, your work is done and probably you'll be able to now see this entire, uh, <laughs> you have just created the Python doc string with respect to the type of functions that you're developing. So pretty much amazing, pretty much easy. Uh, definitely have a look onto this also that is python doc string generator which is pretty much amazing now you know we always say that father of all the extensions definitely you should have this particular extension also that is your amazing github copilot right and again guys 
for github you have a different extension for heroku cli you may have a different extension like that you can have multiple extension with respect to different different types of tools that you are working in but these are all some general extensions that can actually help you out obviously the last one is github copilot you should definitely have if you have not got the access please make sure that you get the access of this you just go and apply it and definitely use this particular extension right so here uh, github copilot i think everybody knows this you just need to write the comment uh, create a create a function to perform merge sort that's it then you write definition merge sort merge sort let's see whether we'll get the extension or not here you go right so the entire code you have got it now definitely use this merge sort now for your other purpose i hope uh, i did not i'm not verifying whether the code will work fine or not but just understand uh, it is actually helping you to generate the entire code okay so you can definitely have a look onto this and uh, definitely have a check onto this and probably let me see whether it will work or fine or not so this is my array let me just write it at 4 comma 5 comma 2 comma 6 comma 7, comma 1 okay and i'll try to execute it run python file in terminal yes it is getting executed so obviously it is working fine right create a function to perform more so, so github copilot is the father of all extensions because it will actually help you to do all the things even write an indented codes or give all these things there's also something called as python indentation you can also use this uh, again it's up to you uh, for doing uh, for writing the correct python indentation you can definitely use this so this is the last extension that i also want to talk about so i hope you like this particular video so i have discussed about so many extensions please make sure that you use them again why it is basically getting used to improve your productivity so this was it from my side i hope you like this particular video please do make sure that you subscribe to the channel press the bell notification icon i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one all bye bye